Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Piccolo, or King Piccolo, or Evil Piccolo, or Gohan's Dad. You know, whatever you want to call him, this isn't actually Gohan's Dad yet. He'll be Gohan's Dad soon enough in the story, though. And so here's the thing. I like Piccolo a whole bunch. Good guy Piccolo, bad guy Piccolo, I could take it or leave it. But here's the thing that I like about this, is it shows me that they are at least thinking about Piccolo. Even if it's only this version, they're thinking about it. And it might mean that in the very near future, we're going to get a new version, a 2.0, if you will, of Mr. Piccolo. And I would absolutely love that. It's at the very top of my list of characters I want to have figures of. Because I don't care for the old one compared to the new figures anymore. So anyway, this one's pretty good. It's got a couple things that are kind of problematic, but not so bad. And a lot of things that are pretty good. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about seven and three quarter inches tall, which makes him just about 19 and a half centimeters. He's a big boy. I'm not quite sure he's technically as big as he should be, but you know, they do skew towards center just a little bit. I think that's okay because he's still pretty big. If you look at him up against Goku, regular Goku, which isn't something that you really need to do, but you could. Uh, he's he's pretty big and then against of course kid Goku. He's still quite quite large So I think that's fine if he's too small. It's not by a huge degree So I think that's okay I didn't check every possible screenshot or go back and watch it But I do remember him being quite large like Goku this Goku went through his chest and so if you just look at it, his head is basically the same size as the chest So it's you know, although his head's kind of big. So yeah, you know, it's it's close enough, I think. You could make the argument that it should be bigger, but I think it's okay. All right, so first impressions on this guy. Uh, well, there's no shading, so that's a bummer. But it's a really dark color, so I don't think it's as necessary. They did obviously paint his pink spots, I guess I'll just call them, with the pink and the red around him, and that's pretty good. The logo on the chest is nicely done. It's actually a separate piece, so that's really good. It's nice and clean because of it. The paintwork that is on there is also very nice and clean. And it's pretty basic. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on. More pink and red down at the ankles, and that's about it. So, yeah, it's not the most detailed thing ever, but thankfully, because of the dark outfit and then the colored spots on his arms and legs, it doesn't look like it needs anything. Obviously, you could add more, but I think it looks okay as it is, so that's pretty good. The sculpt work is nice all the way around. It's fairly accurate. The only downside, really, to the sculpt on this guy, and this is one of the issues we need a new Piccolo of the original release, the chest is very small, like this guy was big across the chest, and his his tank top thing did come out at the top, like it went over the shoulders a little bit. And the way they did it, it makes him look more like a frumpy grandpa, kind of. And I get the irony in that, but still, his chest is very small relative to the rest of his body on this figure, and it definitely would be better if it was bigger. But it's not that big of a deal, I think once you pose him it won't be too big of an issue. But yeah, he definitely could use a broader chest and a little bit of a V-shape to the sleeve area on his outfit. It would definitely be more accurate, but I don't think it's absolutely a deal breaker. So, otherwise it's pretty good looking. I think it's it's pretty solid, so I'm gonna give it, uh, I'll give it an 8. I think they did a pretty good job overall. Definitely could improve, but 8 seems fair enough. As far as accessories go, we have kind of a lot. We have four heads. We have the neutral, well, I guess it's a smirky head, kind of neutral, that comes on him in the package. Then we have a teeth gritted one with his veins popping out on his head, and that's pretty good. And then we have the same kind of veiny head, but then his eyes are bloodshot and his mouth is open. And then we have the one kind of similar, but then it's like crazy looking, and that's for when he spits out the egg. And they're all very nicely done. Uh, I do think, I gotta look into this. I thought the eyes were supposed to be yellow on him, but maybe not. Maybe they're supposed to be white. I'll have to check, but they're white. We do have the egg, like I mentioned, and it's very glossy and nicely done. No stand for it, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks, but we do have that. We have a little splash of stuff that it can sit in on the shelf if you want to, so that's pretty good. We have the, <laughs> we have the rice cooker, so that's kind of cool. I'm glad they included that. We have, obviously, the poke... Pokeball. We have the Dragon Ball. It's a Pokeball. Wow. What is wrong with me? Anyway, we have some hands, some fist hands that come on in the package, one pointing finger hand, one karate chop hand, two claw-like hands, and two wide open hands. And that's it. 
no display stand, don't need it for him other than for the egg, so I think that's okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I think that's a decent batch of accessories. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Yeah, that's a pretty good batch of accessories. All right, time for the articulation. You would think on this guy, they'd go ahead and stick with the double ball peg neck like they've been doing on some of the more recent releases. They didn't, we still have a ball hinge. It's usable, but it definitely would be better if it was a double ball peg. The neck is on a ball peg, but kind of like they did for, um, who did I review recently that had that neck issue? Uh, who was that? Oh, um, the green dude. Shoot, I can't think of his name. Anyway, the neck was really high on that guy. And this guy, it looks fine sculpt-wise. He had a big neck like this in the show. But as far as articulation goes, it is relatively limited for the neck. But the head does work nicely. You just kind of have to deal with that ball hinge. And you'll be fine. You'll be able to put him in the poses you want. So that's cool. One thing I want to mention before I forget, you can spin his thingies on all of the different heads. His thingies are articulated. And I freaking love that because you're going to be able to pose them like if he's dashing forward to punch somebody, for example, on your shelf, you can make these like going backwards, like they're blowing in the wind or whatever. I think that's just fantastic. I love that they included that. They also do pop off, by the way, but I guess that keeps them from breaking. Just don't lose them. But yeah, I love that you can rotate those things. That's awesome. For the shoulders, we do have a butterfly. And they did what I like and that they made the butterfly the skin tone on the inside, so that's good. But they it's really inset quite far. So it doesn't, like it does bring the arm out a little bit better, but not that much. It's just barely helpful. So I don't know, I, I mean, it doesn't hurt anything, but again, it's not particularly helpful. So you can decide if you like that or not. It, it's not a downside, it just could be better. We have a ball peg connecting the shoulder to the arm. So as you can see, you can kind of drop it down or move it around like that, or the shoulder to the chest, I'm sorry. And then of course you have your full on hinge. So full range, no issues there, that's fine, that's good. Full rotation, of course, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, really only gives you about 90 degrees. Ball hinge wrists, they provide enough range. It's not bad. For the torso, I don't think there's a hinge in there. I didn't feel one and I can't see inside, but I do believe we have probably a single ball peg and another single ball peg, if I had to guess. But either way, you can get pretty decent range out of it. Not a ton, but it's enough. Let's get the arms out of the way so I can pose him. So yeah, he can lean forward. This will flex a little bit. Leans back. There might be a hinge in there, but I suppose it doesn't. Is there? It doesn't really feel like it, but who knows? You get good enough range. I like it. I think that's fine. The belt is floaty, of course, so you have your full swivel. No swivel at the top, really, and it will lean, so that's pretty good. For the hips, they don't do full-on splits, but I think that's probably far enough. I think that's okay. And, you know, some people still complain about this new design for the hips, but, uh, you know, look at this. What other design are you going to be able to get that kind of range out of? And have essentially no gapping. Like, it's not, it's not bad at all. You're not going to do better. That's really, really well done. You do have a thigh swivel also. This one's stuck. There you go. I mean, it's really, really nice. For baggy pants especially, they do a good job with these. And yeah, it, it, it can look weird, but you're not going to get any better. I, I like them. Double jointed knees work pretty well. The sculpt still could be better. They still haven't figured it out, but they're good enough. Good enough range. And then for the ankles, look at this. Really nice range. It's a, it's a double ball peg. You can go forward with them. You can go back with them. You can rotate them if you want to, which you wouldn't, but ankle rocker, everything you want to do with the ankles, very nicely done. Toe hinge is good. It's probably not stiff enough to hold them, but it's there. So yeah, it's a solid release for articulation. Is it perfect? No but it's definitely good enough, and I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah, I'll give it, no, nope, I'm gonna give it a, nope, eight. Nine, eight, eight. What do you guys think? I think eight, eight seems fair. Eight's a good score. Could be better, you know, next kind of limited. Single, or 90 degree bends for the elbows. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. But yeah, definitely good enough, perfectly posable. I like it, that's fine. All right, time for the final verdict on this guy. It's a really solid release, really strong. I'm glad that we're getting another character that's not just Goku. I think that's that's just dandy. Um, it's a really solid... I, I'm going to give it an overall 8. That's a strong release. It's not perfect. Definitely could have some things that were better. I'd give it a 9, I think, if the chest had a little bit more chest to it. But uh, all in all, I like it. I think you guys will too, so you should probably pick one up. 
and enjoy. You're going to like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed, you should because I have new videos out just about every single day and thousands already on the channel just waiting for you to watch them. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.